Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be making this Chanel style jacket with a full lining. Yes, I said full. I'm gonna try and break it down as best as I can to you, but it is not as hard as we think it is. So let's get going. These are the tools that you'll need for this tutorial. I used a denim jacket as my base to work from and to trace around. You'll want to find an item that has a boxy shade to get the right look. So let's start with the pattern. Lay your jacket down on your craft paper and trace around the sides, shoulders, armhole and neckline. Parts of my jacket were actually really thick so I actually used a pin to mark those lines through the thick parts. To make sure the pattern was symmetrical, I cut half of it out and then folded over in the middle and used the cut size as a template for the other side. Now that the pattern has been divided in half, one front and back piece, I then cut a new lower neckline into the front piece. Once separated, you can fine tune the pattern by placing those pieces over the jacket, front and back, that you trace from and adjusting the size and shape. For the arm pattern, fold some paper in half long ways and line up the arm so that the shoulder point is on the fold. From there, you can trace the sleeve and the sleeve cap Make sure that you use the other side to trace the other side of the armhole curve because it will be slightly different on each side. Mark each side with a front and a back so you know which one is which for later. This is what the finished pattern pieces will look like. We are gonna use the same pattern pieces for the linings. We need to mark those lines onto our pattern pieces. First, a 1.5 inch line from the bottom of each of the patterns so that the lining is cut shorter than the main fabric. To create the facing, I measured three inches from the front edge of the front piece and three inches from both of the necklines. I joined the front piece neckline to the facing together with a smooth curve. Once you are done, your pattern pieces will be used to cut on the main fabric and interfacing first. Then you can cut them to cut out your facings and lining. For my outer fabric, I'm using this really pretty black and white boucle. For my lining, this pretty polka dot satin, and I'm using a medium thick sew-in interfacing. This will give really good structure and warmth to the lightweight boucle. To cut out, place the back piece on the fold of your main fabric and cut out with a two centimeter seam allowance around the edges. Do the same for your front piece and your interfacing. Now you can cut along the facing lines and cut out your facing pieces and lining pieces. Cut out the facing in the main fabric. Cut two for the front piece and the back neckline should be cut on the fold of the fabric. For the lining, cut two of the front pieces and one back piece on the fold of the fabric. You will also cut the sleeves from the lining material. So you should have your pieces in your main fabric, your lining and interfacing. Let's put it all together. First, we're going to add our interfacing to our main fabric. This is a non-fusible fabric, so we need to sew it to the front and back pieces at a one centimeter seam allowance all the way around. Do this on the wrong side of the fabric. Now, if you like, you can take this opportunity to quilt the interfacing onto the main fabric, but for this purpose, I just did the outside edges. Whatever you decide to do, make sure you also interface your facing pieces. With the right sides facing together, sew the front and back pieces together at the shoulder seam and then put to the side. Sew the lining front pieces to the front facings, right sides together, and then sew the back facing to the front facing at the shoulder points. It should look a little something like this once it's been put together. Finally, pin and sew the back lining onto the back facing, joining at the shoulders and along the edge. Next, pin the entire facing to the right side of the main fabric pieces, matching shoulder points and corners. Start from the inside edge of the facing, sew towards the center front and then all around until you get to the facing on the other side. Trim the seams and snip the corners, then turn to the inside and press flat. To make sure you get a clean corner, snip off the excess just underneath the facing where you sewed. You should then be able to turn to the front with a nice crisp corner with no bulk. Okay, so as you can see, we've mostly got our lining attached. What we need to do now is add the sleeves. 
The technique is the same between the lining and the main fabric and we've done this a few times before. We're going to add the sleeve to the inside of the lining using the open method, starting with the center point and then pinning to one corner, then the other corner and then pinning all the way around and sewing together. Make sure you do the same with both sleeves in the main fabric, this time pinning them right sides together from the outside. It might take a little bit of a finagling, but that's what your pins are for and you can ease in those sleeve caps so they look nice and neat on the other side. To close the sleeves and side seams, pin right sides together and sew from the armpit towards the sleeve and then down the side seam. Do the exact same thing for the main fabric. At this point you can try it on and decide if you like the fit. Um, I decided I wanted to be a little bit more fitted so I cut straight up the back and took a little bit out of the centre seam that I'd newly created. If you do decide to do this then you can cut through right up into the facing but do not cut through the lining. To attach the lining to the sleeves, turn the jacket inside out and pin the sleeve lining to the edge of the sleeves main fabric. Open up the jacket from the inside and pull out the joined sleeves. From here you can pin the sleeve opening together so that the right sides on the lining and the main fabric are facing each other and the wrong sides are showing. Make sure the sleeves are not twisted and match the seams together. Stitch on the outside and then pull the sleeve back through to the right side so that the jacket is right sides out. It should pull the main fabric to the inside just a little so that it acts like a self-facing before the lining starts. To hem the jacket, trim and fold up the remaining seam allowance so it matches the edge of your jacket. Fold the lining under so that the lining sits about 2cm away from the edge of the jacket. Pin and stitch in place using a blind hem stitch on your machine or you can hand stitch if you prefer. Because I made the jacket a little bit slimmer, I tucked the excess lining in the centre of the jacket. And that's it. This is how to make your very basic boxy Chanel type jacket. You can stop right here, but if you want to dress it up a bit, my next video will show you how to make your very own Chanel style trim and add patch pockets so it looks like this. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then give us a like, send me a comment, I'd love to hear from you guys, and of course, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.